having a good day today um, as you can see I am starting this video in a slightly different area that's because I'm actually about to head out of town me and my camera operator <laughs> we're going to be going uh, for some rest and relaxation and this is a pretty cool spot we are going to a 24-hour Korean spa if you know anything about those spots you really get to just completely relax there's no goal, there's no like itinerary. It's really just like an open thing. I've actually been quite a few times. I really love this place. <laughs> it's definitely been a really nice um, reprieve from just all the chaos of life. I think it's a nice way to just kind of get some reset. I actually have done a video about this place before in my very early days on the YouTubes. It was a clickbaity title. I think clickbait titles were like very prevalent at the time. I got like 19k views on that video. <laughs> I don't think it was just because of the title alone. Not a lot of people at the time knew about that spa. So people were going and doing research about the place. And so I think people were coming to my video amongst others just to get more information about it. Beforehand, we're gonna go to um, this really yummy spot um, called Sweet Hut, then check into the spa. We're gonna try something a little bit different. And I don't know how this video is gonna go, but we're gonna try to like stay the night at the spa. Like I said, it is 24 hours, so you have 24 hours from your check-in time to leave. Um, most of the time, we just do that for a few hours and then we leave. So I'm very curious to know what's gonna happen, but you guys are gonna see that too. Um, I have brought a few recreational things with me. So things like, you know, some mangas. I brought my Steam Deck. It is like a really chill location. So I think that part of being a artist is definitely being able to hit that reset button and taking a break to refuel yourself with like experiences, refuel yourself with um, rest. And I think that's definitely gonna be this. So that's why I think it's still relevant as like a webtoon vlog because part of being an artist is also resting it's resting and creating resting and creating so that's what we are up to i hope you enjoy this video um if you're new to the channel um then definitely check out some of my other videos after this and if you're really liking what i got out there then subscribe to the channel and like the video because that really helps all right so let's go ahead and get on the road let's go I've never had an egg tart before. Maybe I'll get one. Oh, let's see. There's a matcha egg tart. Dulce. Um, I'll try... Try the normal one. Let's try that one. And then we can go... We can order.
Okay, so we're here. I am currently sitting in the communal area. I'm trying not to be super loud. That's why I'm using um, my phone as a microphone because I forgot my microphones in the car. So that's my bad. But thank goodness for having uh, technology. So anyway, I we arrived here after we went to uh, Sweet Hut. They had the uh, check-in spot. The check-in spot, it's kind of funny because the main front desk is the same for people checking out. So it was like really busy. Um, it is pretty packed, but it's not like crazy obnoxious amount of people here. One thing to know about, I guess, more traditional spas is that they do have um, gender separated areas gender separated areas are going to be um where you will have to disrobe so if you've ever been in like a school locker room situation then you're pretty much gonna expect that and then they have the bathhouses which is where you've got your hot tub you've got your cold water your warm water that's also the spot that they're doing the um, body shampoo um it's really your traditional like if you've seen like a bathhouse in like any anime or korean drama this is basically gonna be what to expect and you can spend as little or as long amount of time in there as you want to i go in so you they do request that you take a shower before getting into like your scrubs and stuff so you go into the bathhouse you take a shower before getting into any of the other tubs i went to the warm water and it wasn't like warm enough so then i went into the hot water and i just closed my eyes and like meditated it was a really calming experience i was like those um the are they the cap capybara yeah the capybara when you see i'll put a video up but when you like see them soaking in like the hot springs and they've got the little orange on top of their heads that was me <laughs> i was like ah oh, this is this is the life this is what i needed um after i did that then i went into the um steam room steam room was like, very very hot um, but I liked it because if you just really want to clear out your pores and just get all the impurities out, that's going to probably be the best spot to do that. I actually went to infrared. So they have this like little slab with like this infrared light and the floor is like warm and heated. I sat there and just closed my eyes. But in my head, I'm thinking like, what does this do? I don't know what this does so i did that and you know it was fine and all but i was like okay i mean i feel like everything in this place is for like wellness and well-being and stuff so um, i will say if you ever try something like this you know just be comfortable in knowing you are gonna be in front of other people um which is totally fine uh it's not like anybody cares because everybody is naked <laughs> so if everybody's naked i don't think that you know anybody can say anything like i said you can spend as literal little or as much time as you want into that area and just you know so now i'm in the common area which you can kind of see now all of these like little seating areas are for you to um you know sit work on some stuff um or eat they have like and i'll get like footage of all of this in a little bit but you can like sit and eat they've got like a whole selection of like korean style food a lot of stuff that you can do just to like hang out and you know do nothing or do something i see plenty of people who are just kind of sitting on the heated floor i also see like people who are like on their laptops working on things which i'll probably end up doing at some point today we've got a long time ahead of us i put my name down for the um what is it called the body massage um because i've really been wanting a body massage but yeah we're gonna chill and work on some stuff and i'm gonna wait i think they said it's like an hour long wait before i get my massage so we'll see what we end up doing they too lazy which days it may be i've been slacking off what's the wrong days feel like daydreams why my memory hazy where'd it go so wrong I've been feeling fine It's easier to say that I'm alright But lately I've been looking for a sign
It's probably good. It is six o'clock and we've been here for like five, maybe, yeah, like about five hours. Overall, what's gone on, um, came out here, got some work done. We've been in some of the saunas and also I got a body massage, um, one hour Swedish massage with oil and it was so good. Um, <laughs> I hate whenever I get a massage I really don't want to fall asleep during the massage because you want to witness the relaxation but I did I think I found myself just slightly zoning out but um, I don't think that's too much of a bad thing and yeah I feel like all of the different areas were cracked and popped and you know kneaded out there's a lot of kneading, um, but overall, it was a really good time. Um, sat in one of the clay, the clay sauna. Oh my god, the clay sauna was hot. I was a baking in there. Oh, salt? <laughs> it was the salt one. Never mind. But yes, the salt sauna was really nice and baked. I was really, really warm, so I got a melon bar to cool me off. currently 10 19 p.m. Um, it's kind of weird how like it's later at night but like it's gotten louder <laughs> and I'm just I'm guessing that people come here um, I mean this place is 24 hours so I'm thinking that you know it's hey it's a Saturday night you know, people are probably here to have fun, just like they would anywhere else. I'm replenishing, hydrating. I start and start and finished doing color for episode 17. So it's kind of wild. I was able to actually accomplish some work at a pace that was just, you know, super chill. Um, got to do a little bit of reading and um, yeah I've just had like YouTube videos on in the background while I did some color work it's kind of funny doing color is not my favorite part of the webtoon creation process because it's just kind of monotonous like every especially if you have like a character who for like the next five to seven panels it's the same character <laughs> so it's like all right here's this person's shirt go to the next pa uh, panel all right here's this person's shirt and it's just really I don't know kind of mind-numbing I guess so maybe it is good that while I'm here I'm accomplishing the more monotonous part of the webtoon process but we'll keep you updated in terms of our success with our experiment of trying to stay the night here. Um, I do know that at a certain time of night they hand out um, actual pillows, blankets, and mats. Um, I overheard somebody say that is at midnight, which part of me hopes that's not true, but other part of me feels like midnight is probably gonna arrive sooner than we thought, than we think. 
um because it is like already like 10 25 so survive the 24 hours well not almost almost 24 hours how much short were we 20 hours okay so we were 20 hours four hours short of staying the night at the korean spa it was an interesting experience it was not the best sleep i've ever had but i'm actually surprised that i was able to get a pretty decent night's rest. We got our mats. I doubled up my mat um, just so I could be even further away from the floor. And <laughs> so we got blankets that were like oversized towels, pretty much. And then what else? Then we had our, our pillows, which were the same exact pillows that they offer you throughout the entire stay. It wasn't like a humongous, um, luxurious thing. <sighs> Sleeping there was interesting because most of the lights were off. So once 1 a.m. came around, they did turn the lights off, but they did not turn the lights off um, by the wall which is happens to be where we were sleeping. We were sleeping near the wall. Basically think about sleeping in your bedroom with the lights on the entire time. <laughs> I, I went to sleep off and on. Yeah, you could like hear people's phones and you can hear snoring of other people. It was just like one big communal sleepover, which is not everybody's cup of tea. I definitely found it to be an interesting experience. We woke up once the cafeteria opened hydrated because also too we were sitting right on top of the heated floors i ended up not even having the blanket on me the entire time come to think of it it was so warm in there i didn't even have to so it wasn't that bad but yeah we hydrated uh, took a shower got ready for the day and checked out and now we are here at this really cute cafe we have our a little breakfast here that we're going to consume um, and probably work on some stuff before we go and meet up with friends. I would say that I'm glad I was able to do it once, but I don't think I would do it again. <laughs> there are other 24-hour spas that do offer some really good amenities. I can say that I did it. I would say outside of staying the night everything else was great you know the food the massage the atmosphere you know your usual stuff was still pretty good so yep now gonna eat and get some food in me
thank you so 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 much for watching i hope that you enjoyed this uh fun relaxing time this was a trip that was prepared for in advance i'll probably be going back to my usual around the house around the town vlogs starting up next and don't forget to please like and subscribe to my channel for more talk to y'all later bye